Welcome to the channel, a Jaden Chase, and these are some of the top stories making headlines today. Now, not only are people calling for justice, the people are praying for justice. The prayers are go up. And if you agree that justice must be served for Donald Lee Donaldson and our family, drop a like on the video. And of course, drop a comment in the comment section. Now, it has been alleged that the reason why Noel cannot receive bail is that the prosecution plans to also change the court and they have found that key witness. Nation, let me continue to go on to continue the reason. Look at this. The crown wants to carry the case over to the home circuit court. Why is why are they carrying the case over so quick to the home circuit court? You know why? The ambushing is not just what the prosecution is coming with, you know. It's who. Who is the crown's witness? Who is the crown's witness? And I'm going to say this to you. The crown's witness is not the baby mother. The crown's witness is not the baby mother. What a subtle. Even if the baby mother plans to testify from the intelligence I have received, this case. I can't talk with me here, you know. I can't talk. I was, they asked me to swear, to, 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 to keep this confidential. The crown has a major witness. No, well, you must go down. No, well, you must go down. You remember, Noel was trying to find the truck man, but remember, Noel never locate another key person. He never get the chance to locate another key person. And the crown found that key person. Bangarang. why the prosecutors have not put forward all the evidence you heard what the lawyer from Townsend said you heard what let me make on her ear something I wanna go and see say something is brewing wanna know say me always find the things them you know and as much as I don't talk to this person, they always send me certain things. Listen to this. Justice Lorraine Cole is was hearing the case today. We are indeed, I would say, ambushed. And so until the next date. Was there, not, was there a, a, a request for the matter to be transferred to the Home Circuit Court? The Crown has indicated that they intend to have the matter transferred on the 16th of September. Okay. But in keeping with our obligations to our client, we had to do what we had to do, which is to wait on the proper documentation before making an application. Can you say how the case has been hampered for the well, defense? Most certainly, we do not have a full view of the matter. And so it would have been irresponsible of us to proceed. The back and forth, yes. What do you make of it at this point in time, at this stage of, of, of the proceedings? Well, at this stage, we need to see all the documents before we comment on the matter. It is still an early stage of the matter, and so without all the documents, it would be irresponsible to see which way the matter could be. A 
apparently apparently Jamaica what is happening now also making headlines today and of course I say condolences to the family of Dennis Edwards who was a retired teacher and also a businessman who had his life taken in Gale in St. Mary now the tabloids are stating that at about 1 15 p.m edwards was walking along a section of gale main road when he was pounced upon by armed men who opened fire hitting him he was assisted to the hospital where he was pronounced a motive for the slaying has not yet been established edwards taught for several years as a physical education teacher at the tacky high school in the parish his death has rocked the unusually quiet rural community Meaning, say, based upon what the tabloids are saying, nothing really happens in this rural community where violent crime and violence is concerned. But this is one of the issues where even the security forces are now stating that violent crimes are on the rise. And one of the issues taking place with that is that in places where high levels of violent crimes were non existent, these are the places that we see them now rising to those levels. And that's a major issue. Not for the state alone, for the people who reside there. This is a farmer educator, a man who used to teach in my high school, a businessman. And he walk along a main road, a main road. And some people just pounce upon him and take him life. And we are seeing things of this nature happen far too often. Where we just this crime where people are considered as, as senseless. Crimes where law enforcement themselves are watching you know, a motive of, has not been established because as far as we know this individual was not in any entanglements with any other individual and he was just walking along a main road of course them got them due diligence and invest the investigate the situation but truth be told there are thousands of these cases right across the island and as i say crime and violence is a global phenomenon it's not just something on the island but the people residing on the island are aware of what takes place and willing to make a stance against it. Crime and violence is a profit the island. It not made the island better. It not made the island richer. It made the people who reside there for living fear. Less visitors. Less economic prosperity. It will create the same cycle where a fuel of crime and violence. That is where it reach. We now play the blame game. We now ask who in um who input the first set of illegal arms. We now talk about um areas and their affiliations with people in office. That's another concern. What we are gonna do now going forward. Because the blame game I make mean, the people now focus upon the real aim, which is a solution for what I go on. What we're gonna do about what take place right now. Of course, we already point out this. Moving forward, the people and the security forces have united at the aim of reducing crime and violence. The security forces have to keep in mind so when they enter inner city communities, not everybody there are criminals. And we have proven this. This is not just a hypothetical statement. They have stated that in these communities where illegal weapons have been recovered, they have only done so by the intelligence given to them by residents who reside there and these individuals even though a cash prize was being awarded for anybody with information did not want any money all they did want is a safer community what does that say to you that speaks volumes these individuals were given information not for money for these illegal weapons to be retrieved all they did want is a safer community them tired of the crime and violence that is proof enough and everybody in the ghetto, a criminal. As a matter of fact, it's a handful of individuals when you see the scenario more time. When you run the statistics, when law enforcement talk about the individuals and the organizations operating out of certain communities, it's a handful compared to the entire community. That are also something the people need to look into. Now, if you're new to the channel, just a pass through. 
but they like the reason of course they like the point of view what i'm suggesting to you that you click the subscribe icon and of course the bell icon and then put it on all and this is how you know will be notified of all fresh content as soon as fresh content is uploaded and I'm, and made available for you right here on the platform the like icon is also in close proximity to the share icon drop a like and both a share tell a friend to tell a friend to tell them sister and them brother them for check out the channel check out the reasoning join the discussion the comment section only 24 7 it never lock it just be respectful and mindful of the guidelines but other than that Drop your thoughts, your comments, and yes, your opinions there. And we can continue the reasoning via the comment section. Until the reason again, my sentiments by you and yours are for the live, love, and prosper. I'm going to stay tuned.